Hello guys, welcome to this multi-billion dollar studio. I'm your host Lucas and uh, I hope you can enjoy this, uh, this session. So what I implemented here today is my recruitment mode on this uh, on the application. So the user is going to have this option to switch to recruitment mode and they're going to have uh, access to a set of features depending on the subscriptions that they have. So uh, here I implemented our panel with the subscriptions and uh, each, each set of subscriptions is going to have a set of features. And now what I'm doing right now is implementing the payment where the users can pay using Apple Pay and everything. So what I've, what I've discovered today and why I'm reading the Apple, recruit, uh, Apple payment, uh, the payment terms and services, actually I can't, uh, when, whether it's a subscribe type of payment, I can't use a different payment rather than Apple Pay. And the same the same rules apply to Google Play. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm gonna remove this part of the payment with the card, gonna just allow the Apple Pay and uh, let's see what we're gonna go from here. All right, let's see now what is going to happen. Fingers crossed. Nope. <laughs> um. All right, let's try it out and let's see. Uh, yes, that's amazing. Okay, I'm uh, gonna try to go with another prices here and see what's gonna happen. Uh, of course, I have to unlock the skies. Yes, yeah. Well, I don't know if I can do this twice. No. <laughs> yeah, so now I have to... That's it, guys. <laughs> yeah, we've done this shit. Smashed yesterday, can't see straight, it's too bright here, so you're gonna see me a lot with sunglasses today. So, yesterday I finished off the various part. The first part that was to select the job post and uh, select the sorry, sorry, select the subscription, and uh, now we can pay with the passcode and everything. So, what I have to do right now is to connect this payment to the user so I can update the user with the right subscription that they assigned to all right so okay I'm gonna I'm gonna draw here a little bit just to you to understand So, so this, this, this is the connection that the app has. So the app has a connection with the payment gateway that I have set up on the back end. And this communication here is done now. So what I need to do right now is to do the communication with the back end to update the user who you have a connect, we have a, the model user, we have a connection with the model subscriptions that I have in the back end. And I have to update the user now with the right subscription where I the user made the payment. So that's it for the moment. And let's go coding, right?
All right, guys. So it's been one day, one day after Sunday. It's Tuesday now, and um, I forgot to record yesterday. <laughs> so I made some improvements here on the app, and uh, what's happening now is uh, I forgot to mention that I ha I have to implement the webhook. What? Why I have to implement this webhook? I my payment gateway is managed by Stripe. So I need to update my user whether this whether there is an update to Stripe and Stripe sends uh, updates from of my customers and subscriptions to this webhook. So what I did now I I could now implement a, a webhook where the user can create subscription, can cancel subscription, can reassign a new subscription. So that's that's pretty much very good and uh, and as well, I implement some transitions on the screen as too. So let's see a little bit here. So now I have this subscription and I can cancel it. And now it's canceled and it's called here from on the webhook. And then after that, I can change the subscriptions as well. I can select different subscriptions. I don't have this implemented yet. So now it's just this one. And it's created. All right, all right. So now I create the subscription, and let's see. All right, that's it. And then now I have the job, the subscription updated. So what I have to do now is, I, of course, I have a need a little bit of cleaning on that endpoints and cleaning on the back end, as well as some cleaning on the front end. And now I can now switch the, the mode to recruit the mode to user mode now you can allow the now you can allow the recruiters to do different stuff on the app you have you can feature flag some features and then we have we can allow them to post job contact with contact candidates and all the other stuff that recruiters can do to be able to fulfill a job listing all right so i believe that's uh, pretty much it for the moment and uh, i will be back with the video about about the one year since i started doing videos on the channel and uh, as well i'm gonna talk about different stuff that i've been developing too so it's pretty much it bye